Okay, here's an example of the mean value theorem in use. So with this question, they gave us uh, the equation f of x equals 4x squared minus 3x plus 2 on the interval from 0 to 2. And that's what we have at the left-hand side. Uh, the dark part is the interval from 0 to 2, and then the lighter part is just the function continuing off. Now the red line, that's the secant line that connects the two endpoints from, uh, well up here, this point is 2 comma 12, and this point down here of course is 0, 2. Okay, so that's just the secant line uh, connecting those two points. So they want us to use the mean value theorem. The first thing we're supposed to do is check the two hypotheses. Uh, we know that this function is both uh, continuous and differentiable on that interval because it's a polynomial and we know polynomial functions are continuous and differentiable on all intervals so it's obviously going to be okay on this interval. So then <clears throat> we move on to what it tells us, it tells us that there must be some number c in this interval from 0 to 2. So there must be uh, 0 less than or equal to c less than or equal to 2, right? There must be some number c in between 0 and 2 such that uh, f of c equals the um, f of b minus f of a all over b minus a, i.e. it has to equal the slope. <coughs> So the slope of this line is very simply 12 minus 2, right, y1, y2, over 2 minus 0, or 10 over 2, or 5. So it just tells us that there has to be some point uh, between these two numbers, so somewhere on this uh, function somewhere on this curve in between 0 and 2, the slope of the tangent line takes on the value of 5, i.e. the slope of the tangent line equals the slope of this line. So if we were to take this and move it, you know, it would hit, I don't know, somewhere around here. Okay, so uh, what we do is we take the derivative of the function, so f prime of x equals very simply 8 x minus 3. So that's the slope of the tangent line and we just know that that slope has to equal the slope of the secant line at some point so we set them equal. 8x minus 3 equals 5. 8x equals 8. x equals 1. And 1 is within our interval so that is our solution. That's our c. And that's all we're asked to do for these types of questions, is find that uh, that. And if we insert the uh, tangent line at that point, you can see that it's parallel to the secant line. And it's touching where x equals 1, right about there. Okay, that's it.